Hello, and welcome to what's bubbling is in... I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at memory management that was put in place between ZimCat 02 and ZimCat 03 with the help of Disco Drama. So thanks a lot, Disco, for showing us the way. And uh, now we'd like to show you what we did. So I'm going to go to a... An easy example, here's connectors that we've added to the stage. So we can do these kinds of things with them. Whoop, whoop. And if we wanted to see if these are in memory, which they should be right now, we can look in the console. I'm on Chrome on a PC, but it should work on Chrome and on the Mac uh, just as well. And uh, there's the console, but over here in the tools, this is developer tools, so F12 or find developer tools, there's memory. If we open up memory, it allows you to take a snapshot or indeed this little record button will do that too. So I'm going to hit record. And here's a snapshot. And this snapshot though is showing classes, I think, for the most part. So if you've make, made your own classes or made your own stuff and you want to see if your own stuff is still in memory, it may have to be a class. I, I'm not exactly sure on that, but uh, Zim has a, a bunch of, well, it's got to be an object made from a class. Uh, Zim's got a bunch of objects made from classes, so let's go in and put them in alphabetical order. Ah, uh, right, for this to work uh, properly to see the Zim things, if I so I, I'm clicking that bar twice because Zim starts with a Z. So here's all the stuff that's in memory from Zim. Uh, but this wouldn't show properly if you didn't use the docs version. So I'll show you when we go into the code, we're using the docs version of Zim so that we've got full words here. Otherwise we've got, uh, if it's minified code, you're looking at a bunch of letters like S and I mean, I, this might be CreateJS stuff, for instance, that's minified. But if you use the docs version, then here are full words, including connectors, including probably the 13 circles that the connector made. Some of these Zim things are made just from uh, Zim making itself. And if you take a look at them, they're, they're really not very big. This is, two, this is 2K and nothing else is bigger than that. So it, it's kind of, um, well, let's see, what is this? This is uh, 20K, there's 128. Well, this is the circles themselves. So what's kept in memory isn't very big there, uh, first of all, but some things are, things like uh, bitmaps. Bitmaps are probably the largest things or sounds. But anyway, you don't want these left alone or left around in memory. Shapes can add up. And what we found was that Zim was leaving some things around in memory. So if you were animating a blob, for instance, all of the shapes that the blobs were making were being stored still as shapes and weren't disposed. So we fixed that up, yay, and that's great. And I'll show you the code that we used to, to fix that up in just a sec, but there's uh, the connectors. Now let's go in and dispose the connectors uh, so that we shouldn't see them in memory anymore. Let's see what that looks like. So I'm gonna reduce this down or move it over here. There's our connectors being created. Oh, and may as well show you this here. Uh, yay, yay. So I'm up in the actual memory testing that we used, and in the memory testing we used, we kept a, a list of the things that we changed and checked. Uh, up top here, we are using the Zim Docs version here. So Zim Doc, you basically take whatever the Zim JS you're using, and you put underscore doc. Uh, that's if you want to see what Zim objects were left in memory, which you may want to do because you're, you're building with Zim objects. You don't want them left. You, you want to dispose them properly. So that's what we're talking about here. All right, so doc version. Down below, ba -boo, ba -beep, ba -boo, ba -beep, we have our connectors made. And what we'll try is we'll time out and then we'll set the connectors to dispose. I think I found in the past as well that you should also say connectors uh, equals null as well. What that does is it deletes your your own reference here, your own reference on the outside of Zim. Zim we, we have no idea what references you've uh, held onto. So any references to an object that are still around and that are going to be used uh, could keep the object in memory. All right, and the garbage collector won't then 
uh, garbage collect them. And I'm going to show you that with an example down down here next. Uh, but I have found that it doesn't, it doesn't in this simple case it doesn't seem to matter that we're setting them to null. I was surprised at that. I thought just having a reference to it around, but maybe it's not going to be used ever again. So that's fine. Um, anyway, connectors dot dispose. Let's see if they dispose. And now we'll try that again. Google here. Boop. And refresh. But we've got a timeout on that, so I'll, I'll draw a couple extra circles there. And after five seconds, uh, boom, they've disposed and we've updated the stage, so we don't see them there. We've got this snapshot sitting around. We can get rid of it by clear all profiles here. I think you can sit on it and hit garbage. I don't know. I can't remember what that garbage is doing. Anyway, there, there that clears it. And we uh, redo our profiles. The other thing you can do is have multiple profiles. So just if I left that one there, and then you can compare the profiles uh, by right clicking. And I, I'm not sure, maybe you have to have two of them or more. But anyway, I think there was some way to compare them. I can't remember. All right, so we don't really see them here. We kind of, there's a Zim Manager or whatever. Uh, but if we, if we sort, there they are again. So now the connectors are gone and the circles are gone. So that dispose worked. Once again, these are just the basic things that are left in uh, that, that Zim uses internally as it creates various things. And I don't think there's any worry about them. Uh, when we were doing our testing, I took a screenshot of that and so that I could just quickly compare. And eventually, <laughs> I learned to just look at these numbers and go, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, that's what's supposed to be there already. <laughs> All right. So let's have a look now and see what this would what would happen if we go into Zim. And this is what, where we were doing our dispose. This is the dispose method of the connectors. And so we're making sure that we're removing all of the different parts and the and the event listeners that are in there, setting things to null and looping through. Here's an example here where we had a key down, and I'm going to comment the removing of the key down event. So in here, there's an event that says, uh, when you key down, then check for various things. Uh, you know, there's various things with the connectors. You can control click them and, and stuff like that to remove them. I, I can't remember. But anyway, if we didn't remove that listener, that means the listener is still there, potentially waiting for something that this object is, is going to, to do. And when we dispose it, when and even if we do all this stuff, if there's still a reference, it's not going to be garbage collected. So that's what I'm going to show you now. We've commented the out, and we come back into Google. We refresh, do some drawing. Ba 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 ba. Five seconds. It disposes. We'll remove that. Refresh here, and do our search. And there they are. So the connectors are still here, even though they've been disposed. So what we had to do is we had to figure out what what was it in this connectors class? Because there's lots of stuff in there. <laughs> what was it? A uh, couple hundred lines, uh, maybe more. Anyway, if we open this up, here's, here's how we did the testing. If we open it up, there's something inside. And we don't need to open up what's inside. So if we open up what's inside, it shows us all of the stuff that's that's in there. I'm not sure if I can make the console. Yeah, I can. I don't know if it's a good thing to make it bigger, though. Hopefully you can see that okay. So that's all the stuff inside, all of the parts of the connectors, I guess. We don't need to worry about that. All we do is click on the on on, on the thing that's inside, not on this but on the thing that's inside. And then down below here, it opens up another panel called retainers, which you might not even see if it's down too far. Once I put these up here and I couldn't find the other ones, I thought that I was no longer <laughs> But Anyway, so a little bit of usability issue. I don't, I don't think they should be able to drag that all the way up there. So you've got sort of two views in here. One is of all of your objects. And then this thing's called retainers. So these are why they're still around, like what is still using them. And it's like, oh, good, okay, so here's the stuff that's still using them. And it's like, uh, what do we do? And sometimes it's easy, and this is an example of it being easy. 
the very first line that opened up, sometimes it's just the first thing. Uh, these are the various levels, the distance away from like the nestings. So presumably whatever the closest level is, is the thing that's still holding it in memory, you know, that you need to get rid of. Because these things might be held in memory because it's the, the, the whole object's held in memory still. So these are all the things that are the objects using. I think. <laughs> but anyway, this top one here seems to be pretty easy because look, it's got a line number in the docs. It's, em it's empty. It doesn't really tell us what, what it is. If you open it up, it's like, uh, I don't know, it's got a listener and this doesn't have any information really. And sometimes the answer was down in here somewhere. Like I would find something in here that was keeping it in memory. <laughs> I don't think it was related. Like there's the ones, right? Uh, I don't think it was that. But anyway, in this case, it's just that document number. We could go to there and see what it is. So let's do that. It's 32474. So here's what I would do. I would go into the docs. I hit control G for go and three, two, four, seven, four. Uh, good to test our memory. And when I do that, it takes us to this key event. Now remember, I, I you know, I, I, I went down in the dispose and I deleted the key event, right? <laughs> but I wouldn't have known about the key event because, you know, I'm, we're, there's just tons of stuff in here. So uh, one of these things in here is, is still being used in memory. It's like, um, okay. Anyway, it told us the key event. So like I said, this one's pretty cut and dry. There's the key event. Uh, so we're still referencing the object or the, the, the e dot key. Uh, well, it's not the e dot key code, I guess the OBJ, some, some loop selected list. Okay, so the selected list is in this object and we're referencing it. And, and therefore, it's still alive because this key code event is here. So how you get rid of events in Windows is you use the window.addEventListener. And if you specify the function, if you store that in a variable, well, this is one way anyway. Here, here's the function that is the, the key down event function. Uh, I've just stored that in a variable. And actually in a property. I find that sometimes variables don't seem to clear events very well and if you yet if the prop you put them in properties it seems to hold them better. So I have had that experience. I don't know if if uh, the variables around and you use the variable variable again like an e or whatever and you reuse it then you don't have access to it. I mean, I'm not sure but anyway this um, this is the key event stored on the object that is my object. And uh, you probably won't be using uh, the add event listeners anymore. So we're in Zim now where we might be referencing more sort of lower level right directly into the JavaScript event listeners. When you're using Zim, you're using on. Uh, it's very easy to remove an event listener uh, in Zim with the on method. You basically store the results of the on in a variable and then you off and you off the same event, but use that variable. Uh, anyway, maybe I can show you that quickly, just turning into a bit of an explore here. Bubblings are supposed to be, hey, what's new? What's new? <laughs> uh, that's okay. On we go. So uh, this was the cause uh, of the, the memory leak, basically, is that this one wasn't removed. So I'm going back to the dispose here, and we will put that back in place. So this is what we had to do through Zim, and you can see that we're doing a bunch of stuff here to dispose. We also then go and dispose the containers, like all, the, all those circles and, and things themselves need to be disposed. So that's what we're, we're doing here is we're doing a recursive dispose through those containers and anything that might happen to be in, in them. We also had to put in place, uh, did we do it for this one? Sure, but there were a bunch of general um, things like, is, is the object being dragged? Is the object being transformed? And all these had to be turned off as well. Uh, so we had a bunch of global uh, dispose and it might be part of the, con I don't think it's part of the container dispose. I don't see a global dispose on here. I bet you though, disposing the individual ones probably does call, call a global dispose as well. Yeah, I, I bet you. Okay, so anyway, 
what we did in Zim is we went through and checked all of our disposes to make sure that the disposes were working. That looks like down here, by the way. Let's open that up right here. So there we are checking shapes and squiggles and blobs and interactive things. Uh, we were doing various things with points. We checked flare, we checked bitmaps, tips, panels, pages, sliders, blah, blah, blah. This is all of us like uh, checking each one and then commenting it out, checking, checking, checking and making fixes. Um, still to do's, pages, guides, grids, headers, etc. I think this is the second version as well of this. Like I said, we did work in, in both Zimcat 2 and Zimcat 3, and this might be just the Zimcat 3 <laughs> checking uh, that we're going through. And as they got into controls, they became a little bit more complicated where uh, more things were involved. Because when you, when you have a control, it's a control on existing objects like tiles or what have you. Or, and it could be on anything on sprites. So uh, there you go. That's what the memory testing looked like. And once again, thanks Disco for uh, helping us get started on all of this. This was some Disco code initially, and we we put that in place. He showed us the 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 way to do it in the Google panel there, the Chrome panel. All right. One more thing that I wanted to show you though is your own memory management. So great we can dispose it here but what if I'll comment out this version what if you've got some stuff that might keep it around so we'll bring this back I suppose so we're just gonna look through this code we've got a connector and we start off with our connectors uh, with an alpha of zero and we make this pane right here and we show the pane show when uh, when we close the pane, when the pane closes, we're going to set the connectors alpha to one. So what we've just done is we've set up a reference inside this event function that goes to our connectors. And then we're going to try disposing the connectors and see what happens. Um, okay, so we've disposed the connectors, but we didn't actually dispose the the close event. And we'll see if it keeps the, the, the connectors still around in memory. That's what I thought was going to happen, but I was kind of surprised. And I will show you why. Let me just comment out this last bit here. I don't think we're doing... This is the, the last step of this is uh, making a boo-boo <laughs> on purpose. So here's the connectors. We've got a pane. When we close it, we're going to dispose the connectors and we'll see if they're still around. So I save that up. We come into Google or Chrome, and I, I close it there, and I'm going to run these. We still have five, five seconds to make some, make some connections. They dispose. We clear the profile. We hit record. We uh, move the retainers down. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, well, there's nothing there. And I couldn't believe it. I was, there's nothing there. Where is everything? Where did it go? And this had been moved up at some point, just happened to be moved up over top of that other stuff. <laughs> it's like, ah, Google, for me's sake. Anyway, there we go, and no connectors. Okay, so on the face of it, it seems pretty good. And, and that threw me for a loop because I thought that as soon as this event was still here, well, what if I close the window again? But Google seems to be smart enough that it knows there's nothing in this code that will open the window again, so this will never be closed again. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. That's the V8 sort of saying, well, nope, this will it will never be able to get to this again because nothing in the code ever showed it again. So I scratched my head and went, really? Did it doesn't really know that. So what I did is I came down here and I put a timeout of 100 seconds. So this is in the future sometime. I'm going to show the pane again, at which point this close event may be, may be needed, <laughs> right? So uh, let's see now if it disposes our connectors, right? Because in the future, I might need to, to use the connectors when I close this, when I close the pane again. So I save that and we run it here in Chrome, refresh. And we have five seconds. Bop, 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 bop. There we go. It's gone. We clear the snapshot. We take a snapshot. Boop. We uh, sort. And lo and behold, would you look at that? K 
connectors is still here. Oh, it's, sorry. I, I, I swear they weren't there before. I'm not sure. <laughs> See, they're not there. <laughs> uh, well, maybe, uh, maybe I need to turn, go back. I can't remember if I opened this up uh, enough for you to see it. But there are the connectors. So the connectors right here and uh, the circles are still there. It looks like one circle is there. Interesting. But anyway, the connectors are still there. So let's um, put that time out just to make sure, confirm. We aren't using it anymore. We're not going to use the pane. And we save that up. And let's run it again here. <laughs> Darn. Sorry about that. So we, oh, beep, 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 beep. we make some connectors. And there they go. We re uh, refresh that or whatever and grab the snapshot. Sort. Boom, boom. And no connectors. OK. So Google, the V8 engine here, was smart enough to know that can never happen. It's disposed said, well, it's never going to be referred to again. We can get rid of it from memory. But if we were going to refer to it again, it would have still been in memory. All right. I think that that's all that we need to talk about in terms of memory management. Um, once again, if you have your own if you if you're just checking to make sure that you know a zim emitter is not still here because you're not going to refer to it or something like that then you can just hunt for the zim things if you use the docs version if you have your own custom classes and and want to know if those are being held around a memory but really you know what are they going to be in the custom classes would be some you know maybe some bitmaps or something well the bitmaps will show up here so anything you're making in zim is going to show up here in, uh, um, as, as Zim stuff. So I think you're probably good. But if you if you weren't using Zim and just want to know how to do memory management, then maybe I think you need to make a class and an object from it. And then you will find your own class here being used or instances of, of your class, the objects being used. All right, this has been a Oh, What's a Bubbling is it? And a memory management is there to stop memory leaks. So you can go to the updates, zimjs.com slash updates, or find the updates link in the top of the docs, and uh, read through the memory management. We put a whole bunch of notes in there, and, and uh, you can have a look through there. We should probably put this bubbling video in those notes as well. Cheers. Have a great day or night. Dr. Abstract. Ciao.